Now let's take a look at some of the benefits of using Google Cloud SQL. It is a fully managed environment that again is entirely accessible online. So as long as you have internet access, of course you can manage your databases from anywhere. And it provides REST APIs for administration. So your developers can certainly develop any additional administrative interfaces if desired. It's very compatible, of course, to any kind of web-based development and can be used with the Google App Engine and the Google Compute Engine for additional uh, features and development. It can be used with other external applications and clients as well. Just about anything that could connect to a MySQL database can still connect to the Google Cloud implementations. It provides security. All data is encrypted by default. It offers standard MySQL databases, the familiar infrastructure for those already comfortable in the MySQL environment and available globally. There are data centers located in the US, in the European Union, in Asia. So you can, uh, in essence, find one pretty much in, in all of the major geographic areas. It can host MySQL 5.5 or 5.6 in terms of the versions. And there are uh, certainly uh, very current editions of the product. All data is replicated across multiple zones with automatic failover implemented. And of course, like any cloud service, you have your choice of billing options. And uh, like most of the other cloud subscriptions, you pay for only what you need or what you use. With respect to the size, you can have up to 16 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of storage per instance. So if you need more than that, you can implement an additional instance. Easy importing and exporting fully compatible with Java and Python for your developers. And uh, from the networking perspective, it supports both IP version four and IP version six. It includes support for the MySQL protocols and the MySQL connectors. SSL support for connections for when you need to secure the connections. They implement automated backups and point in time recovery as well and also fully compliant with ISO IEC 27001. Now, if you aren't familiar with this, you can certainly look it up, but uh, this is a very well-known security standard for information security management systems. So in essence, they are compliant with most of the standards that you would want to see when dealing with securing information. Now, there are a few features that aren't supported in the Google Cloud SQL platform. They are the user-defined functions, the super privilege statements that include MySQL import without using the local option. So if you do use the local option, that is supported. And the MySQL import using the tab option also not supported. Some additional MySQL statements that are not supported include the load data in file statement unless you specify the local in file. So load data local in file is supported. The select into with the out file and or dump file arguments not supported. Install or uninstall a plugin not supported create function because of course user defined functions aren't supported and finally the load file function is also not supported so a few restrictions to be aware of but nothing that should prevent you from getting in there and creating your databases to drive your applications just be aware of some of those restrictions before you get started